The IBEW has assisted BG&E workers four other times in elections. Uh, all of them, of course, have been losses. The latest one being in 2010, and they lost three to one. In 2012, uh, they were purchased by Exelon Corporation, and they started, started seeing things change, just small things, but they didn't like the way that things were being changed by a major corporation. We started this, I believe, in May of 2015. Um, just started out with a handful of guys saying, hey, you know, we need some change, we need representation, and we think we should get the IBEW back involved in, in our organizing efforts. That's how it began, and over the uh, past 18 months, it's been a long journey. In the spring of 2015, we were approached. And what I did was I looked at past campaigns to see what we did and didn't do so that we could possibly do some things a little bit differently on this campaign. We had a strategic plan that we put together. When we went to President Stevenson and said, hey, we want to have a bunch of people in at the end, he was supportive of that and he said, whatever you guys need, we're going to support. We had set out a plan, and the plan was in place so that uh, at the end of the campaign, when we were getting ready to file a petition, uh, we were going to bring in as many people as we could to do house calls, phone banks. Uh, there were nine locations that we had to stand at, at each location each day and handbill and, and do honking waves. I think for the first time we had that many people ever on a campaign in the 4th District, and they brought skills and abilities and knowledges, you know, from all over the country. The campaign itself was a process of teaching the VOC how to act as a union. They spent pretty much the 18 months that I was involved with them uh, acting as a union and learning how to be a union. The VOC did all the things we asked them to do throughout the process to lay that uh, groundwork for the final push. The VOC um, has had to reach out and try to get some more support, just basically educate our co-workers to, as to why we need a union, and the support has been overwhelming. Once they hear our story and the stories of the other unions that represent utilities, it's, they feel that now is the time. I think this is gonna be the, the campaign that finally gets it done, and gets us the representation that we all need so that we can become a brotherhood, part of the brotherhood. This experience drives home for me that this brotherhood is bigger than we can ever imagine. And just the efforts of the people that were here uh, prove that when it's good for one brother, it's good for the rest of us and we'll go to the ends of the earth to make that happen.